In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone or your iPad to a USB flash drive. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. Now, if you're a mobile content creator like me, you probably find that your iPhone and your iPad fill up very quickly with high resolution audio, video, and photos. The good news is in iOS 13 and iPadOS 13, we now have USB flash drive support, meaning we can transfer those files directly to a flash drive and free up some space. So let's jump in and show you how we do that right now. So there's three things we need to get this done. Number one is a USB flash drive like this SanDisk Cruiser. Now your flash drive needs to be formatted in the FAT file format, which is a pretty standard file format in order to work. We'll talk a little more about that later. You'll also need a lightning to USB adapter. Now I recommend this one. It's the genuine Apple lightning to USB 3 adapter. And yes, it does cost a little more than some of the third party ones, but it works out of the box every time. Super reliable and super good quality. So we've got a USB port there, and importantly, we have this lightning port here as well, which means that we can plug this into power because most of your flash drives, unfortunately, do require that additional power. If you're plugging without this cable, then you're not going to get a functioning drive. Now, if you want to pick up one of these, you can check out the link down in the description. And there's also a link at the top and also at the end of this video, which will give you more information about file support here in iOS 13. And once we have all this gear in place and plugged in, all we need to do is plug in our USB flash drive into the lightning to USB adapter there, and we're good to go. Nothing pops up here because we're in the Photos app. What I'm going to do is jump over to the Files app now and show you where this will pop up. So here we are in the Files app and down the left hand side under our locations, you'll see that we have this new location called About Time. Let's just unplug and plug back in just to show you. We unplug, that's gonna disappear. We plug that one back in and it's gonna pop straight back up. And if we tap on that one, we can jump here into our folder here, which has all of the files that are stored on this flash drive. And again, if you want to learn more about that, check out the video linked up the top right now. But for now, let's jump in to the main part of this video which is showing you how to transfer photos and videos because that seems to be the one thing that creates most of the space limitations here on your devices. Let's now switch back over to our photos and we'll select some random photos that we, we may want to transfer over. So what we need to do is tap on select in the top right corner like so and then tap on any of the photos. We'll just select a handful of these randomly that we want to transfer. Now what we need to do is tap on the share button in the top left corner like so, and we go to our new share sheet that we have here in iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. And this is where we can share directly to our files here, or we can add it to an album, which is the second way I'm gonna show you that I prefer to use. But let's show you the simplest way. We're gonna tap on save to files. It's gonna bring up our file location list. And what you'll notice is as well as iCloud Drive and on my iPad and all the standard locations, we've also got this one, which is for our USB flash drive. So let's tap on that one. And when we do so, you can see the folders that we've already got set up here. So I've got a music folder and the system information. Now, if I want to create a new folder, which I'd recommend, we tap the new folder button at the top here, and now we can create a new folder. So let's just call this one, not surprisingly, photos and hit done. And there you go, we can now tap on photos. We can hit the save button here in the top right corner and it's gonna go away and save it. Now it's not the fastest file transfer process, especially if you're using a USB 2 flash drive with this. So, But it's done pretty quickly there. If you've got large high resolution video files, don't be surprised if that can take several minutes to actually work. And unfortunately we have no progress bar there, something that I really hope Apple add in the future. Let's go back to files now and we'll tap on here. You can see here that we've got photos as a folder, we'll tap on photos, there they are. So there's my photos, they're now copied across to this location. What I can now do is I can go back to my photos and I can delete them from here. But here's the problem, right? I can't remember which ones I've actually transferred and that's where this next way of doing it is gonna work a whole lot better. So let's jump into that now. So my preferred way of doing this has an additional step, but you'll see why we put this additional step in in just a moment. So we're back here in photos, we're gonna tap select, and let's just select a couple of photos this time because we don't wanna spend a lot of time waiting for it to transfer. We'll then tap, tap up the top left here on the share button. And this time, instead of sharing directly to the files, we're actually gonna create a new album. So what we're gonna do is tap add to album, and we're gonna create a new album with these photos. Now, you only really have to do this the first time you do this because what I'd like to have is an album called Transfer. 
So this tells me that these are photos that are on their way to being transferred somewhere else. So we'll tap on save and there we go. We've got them in that new album called Transfer. If we tap on the top left to go to my albums, there it is. We can tap straight in there and we're there in our transfer album. Now we just need to follow that first step. So we tap select. This time we tap select all up here in the top right corner and they're all selected. We tap on the share button in the top left. Again, <laughs> like that. And then once again, we scroll down here until we get to save to files. We tap on that one. So once again, we will drop down our list of folders here. And this time let's create another folder just to distinguish it. We'll call it photos uh, again. <laughs> just for fun except I can't type there we go and hit done so now we can tap on photos again here let's hit the save button in the top right it's going to save those photos in and there you go it's done once again no progress bar or indicator but we have to trust that these have now been transferred let's jump back over to the files app and check that for sure so we'll again switch our apps back to files. Here's our photos again folder and there's our three photos. Now, you're probably already ahead of me on this one, but the reason that we did that is that we now know which photos we have and haven't transferred. So anything that's in this transfer album, we know that we've transferred. And the beauty part is what we can now do is if we want to free up that space, we can come in here, we can select which is going to select and then tap select all. And then we can delete up here in the top left corner. And what we can do is either remove from the album or delete entirely. And of course we want to delete entirely because we want to free up some space. So let's hit the delete button. And yes, we want to delete three photos. There you go. Those are now gone, or at least they're not quite gone. They've now gone into our recently deleted photos section. So what we need to then do is come down here to recently deleted in photos. We need to tap select and we need to delete all and delete those seven photos that we had in our recently deleted items. And that is it. They are now completely gone forever. Now, please keep this in mind. Once you have transferred to one device, it is not backed up. So a backup is only a backup when it's in at least two places. So you're now relying on this one flash drive. So what I would do before I completely delete it from my iPhone or iPad, I will generally transfer this to a, a drive on my PC or a Mac or somewhere else, put it in the cloud, because again, if you're trusting one single flash drive and something goes wrong, then that could cause you some issues. There you have it, a quick and easy way to transfer files. And of course, this works for any other file. If you're in your files app here, you can actually go to any other file that you have on your iPad, on your iCloud drive, any other location, and transfer that over to a USB flash drive using this same process. There's two more videos down below. Don't forget to check the description if you want to check out the gear that I used in this video. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. And I'll see you on the next video.